Steve twenty nine hundred on Instagram, and you turning in the Baltimore Basics. I'm Willie Wayne, Raise It Up CEO, tuning in the Baltimore Basics. In so many words, like a BET Awards. We started giving riders awards, start giving them trophies, plaques, you know what I mean, gift bags for, for being dope riders. We created a whole platform from it. Mm -hmm. um, have a whole show, it's an all black affair, you know, downtown New York. And then you got a, uh, you got categories that's separated to you. You got, um, we put on the whole show basically. You got, uh, you even got a, 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 a serious voting system. We got a voting system that's probably better than the voting system that you got for the president because you can't <laughs> cheat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever um, IP address you use to vote on can only be used once. So you, you can't vote off your cell phone more than once. You can't vote off your PlayStation more than once. So we make sure all the votes is counted and calculated correctly mm -hmm. to make sure who wins is the real winner. Not saying that the winner is going to be the nicest in the category. It's, but, all in, it's all in your votes. But it's all in your votes. So like, you promote yourself. If you promote yourself and you sell yourself to the public good enough, then you're going to win that category. But that doesn't mean that you're nicer than the other person in that category. It just means that you you got the most you votes. Got you, got, the most you got the most support from your from your, from your team or your you know your fan base or whatever the case. Maybe. Some people take it a little bit too serious. You know they get mad about it. Definitely. But it's all in fun because you got to understand before this awards. You wasn't you wasn't getting anything. You was barely getting recognized for it. You know what I mean? But we put our minds together and decided to give something. You know, we got a couple sponsors that help out with it. Um, PH Hudson, True Religion. You know, gave gift bags. We have quite a few people who give out gift bags to, and we give them to all the nominees. Yeah, every you know nominee I mean? get it, no matter if you win or lose. We try to keep it. We try to keep it neutral, but. I mean, like I said, you can't please everybody. Somebody's gonna get mad. You got a couple people like uh, we got up and coming rappers. We let them perform at the show. Got an artist further. We discovered him. He kept telling us that he was this, this nice rapper. He just nice rap. He just nice rap. We like, all right, well, we gonna make you prove yourself. So we got a documentary that we filming is coming out. It's called One Dream to Ride. So we told him, make us a song for this. And he actually created a song called One Dream to Ride. And it's dope. It's super dope. And from there, we was like, yeah, you can definitely be part of the team. Got him a distribution deal with Sony. You know, he doing him. Got a couple other artists that's trying to, trying to get involved that we want to see what they're about. And a couple more sponsors that's trying to help us out with the award show this year. We got... Um, Polaris is actually trying to get involved to help us this year. Where though we might be doing an event coming up where um the mayor of uh, uh, uh what is it called? What part of New York is that? Mount Vernon. The mayor of Mount Vernon is actually considering letting us block off a whole neighborhood to have a bike event. So if we get that done, you know we're gonna let all the artists perform. We're gonna let people bring the slingshots because Polaris is sponsoring. So I just sent all the people with the slingshots the information. Like, look, this is for y'all. He's gonna give y'all free gifts. He's gonna give y'all stuff for the side by sides, all the accessories and everything. Y'all come up there, do your donuts, everything you wanna do, and everything is free. Once again, him being who he is, he giving him don't ride no slingshot. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he's it, just so much of a big deal that. Pretty much anything bike wise. I don't own anything Polaris, but I'm not gonna let the deal go out the window. So people that I know has Polaris things, then I'm gonna send you to the deal. I don't need the middleman enough. I'm gonna send you directly to the man. Leave me out of it. Whatever they give you is, is for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Sundays at the park. Sundays at the park. It, it was always a plus because it was a it was a plus for us. But then there was a downside to it too because we had the crowd ain't coming until we got there. Once they heard that we was up there, then of course everybody you know want to rush up there, whatever the case may be. But we started having issues with these car club people.
Of course, you know, yeah, drill pop. Everybody should be in drill pop. The crowds, the cars, the people, the dirt bikes, the cookouts. So, we had a situation where though the car clubs in Baltimore started getting big headed and felt like all the people that's coming in the park on Sundays was coming to see them. So, it became a beef. But in order to squash the beef, I told him, I said, you know what? Y'all can have the park. Let them have the park. Us on the bikes are going to go around the corner. So that's when we went around, we created Wheel Deal, which is Park Circle, Hip Hop Chicken. We created that. So the crowd followed us to there. And then the car clubs decide they wanted to come around there too. So of course, you know, we told them no. Y'all wanted the park. All the people was coming to the park to see you, remember? So y'all go back in the park where y'all belong. This is our thing around here. Y'all stay around there. And until then, Wheel Deal just been the place. When the bikes come up there on Sundays, you had probably 90% of the city was up there. 90% of the city. And the main thing that'll show you something, 90% of the city there, and we are, other than the dirt bike capital, the murder capital, on a Sunday, you had no murders. You had entirely 90% of the city all in one place, one area at one time, and you had no murders on a Sunday. And of course, you know, the police had to come and start shutting it down. Now they shut it down. They don't have nowhere to meet no more. The people don't get to see the bikes no more. It's a big deal. They spend money to shut it down, but won't spend money to help. They took, uh, we asked for permits. Like, look, how about y'all give us permits to shut down from light to light? The way the street is made, you can direct traffic to go behind Hip Hop Chicken and, and then come back, come right out, back out, out at the bottom of the street by Mon yeah. It's not going to mess up traffic that bad. Give us the permits to shut the street down for a certain amount of time. They told us, no, we can't shut down that street. We not doing it. We can't shut down the street. Then they turn around the next weekend and they <laughs> shut down the street. <laughs> To One stop lane. us from coming in. One you have lane. the police blocking off the traffic on both sides of the street so that traffic can't, so the bikes won't come there. I'm sitting there saying, you just told us y'all can't shut it down for us to come there, but you shut it down for us not to come there. Traffic backed up all the way to Cold Springs. Like, from, didn't even make Rice's, any sense. Right this time from Park Circle all the way back to Cold Springs, and then on the other side, you got two way traffic coming in. So you got the traffic coming from Liberty. They backed up down near the North Avenue. And then the other side, people getting off 83 coming up. And they like, you know, it's, like, it's a, all, like a fork in the road. All jammed up. All because they up. shut it down because they don't want the bikes to stay there, to Crazy. hang up there. Crazy. But you just said you can't shut it down for the bikes to be there. They did it all one lane on right. each side. Then That's contradict crazy. itself and talk about we can't just shut down Baltimore City streets for people to go speed and throw them and then turned around and did what? NASCAR. Mm -hmm. You just contradicted yourself. You and lost said, money. And lost billions. Lost, lost millions. money doing that NASCAR. You said you can't, I can't, we can't shut down streets for people to go speed and throw them and <laughs> shut down the streets for NASCARs to go speed and throw them. Oh, like, flop. which one is it? Like, <laughs> you're contradicting yourself all the way around the board. Big flop. <laughs> Then they, they 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 started doing things like uh, they started violating our rights completely. Like, how are you going to tell us what we can and can't own mm -hmm. where we live? Because we live in the city, you telling us that we cannot legally own a dirt bike in the city? Like, that's just crazy. Like, I don't that don't even make any sense. You telling me? Because of where I live, I can't own a dirt bike. Like, no. How are you going to do that? Yep. They tell us, if you have a dirt bike in the city, in city limits, and it's not demobilized at all times, we're going to confiscate it and not give it back. We're going to take you to forfeit your court to not give you back a bike. <laughs> like, the, the laws and stuff that they made just doesn't make any sense. <laughs>